Solve for Tomorrow is a nationwide competition. Um, in partnership with MOTAT, we are encouraging uh, Year 7 to 10 to come up with ideas to change New Zealand for good. So there's $20,000 of cash and Samsung tech, um, so it's a really great initiative to get involved. I'm glad to be here and I'm so excited about the launch of the Solve for Tomorrow. I hope a student can bring up a lot of ideas to change the world for our future. There's a natural synergy between the Museum of Transport and Technology, or commonly known as uh, MOTAT and Samsung, and that we both focus on educating and inspiring people around the STEM subjects, so science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics, and using that focus to inspire the next generation of innovators. So we've entered into a three-year agreement with Samsung, and um, we will be supporting the Solve for Tomorrow competition in schools by taking our STEM sales out there um, and just encouraging the students to come up with some great entries for the competition. I'm really hoping to see solutions that are not just science based but really you know bring in the arts and humanities and really think about what solutions can be um, equitable you know how can we get solutions that work for everybody rather than just for some people. Oh you know we're a country of innovators and this is just another step in that I think you know getting uh, our young people really excited to be thinking about how there are solutions uh, you know and that we can use STEAM to really help us come up with them.